Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I heard the president say, I deserve to be the speaker. I don't think anybody deserves anything. It's not about what you have done. It's what you can do. What you have done in the past speaks to your credentials. It's now my privilege to present the gavel of the United States House of Representatives to the first woman speaker in our history, the gentlelady from California, Nancy Pelosi. I think she would be a very effective leader. Um, she certainly comes to this with tremendous experience. Uh, and uh, she's even talked about herself as this would be kind of a pivotal moment for her coming in as the leader and being kind of the bridge to that next, the next phase for the Democratic Party in the House. is a woman of courage serving in the Congress of the United States. We need her back with a nice, strong victory come next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. I think she deserves it. She's been fighting long for it. She's been fighting. I really mean this. this there was nothing sarcastic about it or it was really meant in, it, with very good intentions. I think she deserves it. She's fought long and hard. She's a very capable person. And, you know, you have other people shooting at her, trying to take over the speakership. And I said, if, I, if it's appropriate, I said, if we can and if we will, if she has a problem, I think I would be able to very easily supply her the necessary votes. We've got to stop Brian Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi from erasing everything that we've gained. Denver Riggleman's, the conservative fighting for the middle class tax cuts and more jobs. Riggleman's got Virginia values, but Nancy Pelosi's trying to impose her values on Virginia. Jennifer Wexton will make Nancy Pelosi speaker again. They've promised to raise taxes on our families by up to $2,400 and get rid of the $2,000 child tax credit. The, the number of ads that the Republicans ran against Democratic candidates using the trope of Nancy Pelosi um, uh, to terrify somehow Republican voters or to terrify voters from supporting the Democrat. Um, you know, I think you can't not notice. She certainly has the ability to get it and to maneuver through the rules. So she can do that and she probably will. But when you look at the leadership of the Democratic Party in the House, it looks like the coordinating committee of a nursing home. They are all near 80. Where is the younger generation of Democrats? Because they're not going to lead Democrats back to power with a leadership team like that.